This is a super simple guide on how to set up a ROM collection browser inside Kodi. The ROM collection browser automatically downloads all the fan art for your favorite games, so it's super easy to navigate and launch inside Kodi using your big screen TV. Since the ROM collection browser is a launcher, the add-on is designed to work with existing ROMs and emulators already installed on your device. It also works best with old style arcade ROMs. In this video, I used the NES emulator called FCEUX. I also included a couple excellent source locations for emulators and ROMs in the show notes below. To install the ROM collection browser, we're going to set up two source locations and then install the add on. The first source location is for the game emulator. Select System, File Manager, select Add Source. Then browse to the install location of your emulator. To make the emulator location easy to find, let's update the name. In this example, I chose NES Emulator. Now let's add a second source for the ROMs themselves. Browse to the ROM folder and select OK. My folder was already called ROMs, so I don't need to change the name. Now you have two new locations. One of them is called NES Emulator, and the second one is called ROMs. Now let's go to Cody's home screen and install ROM Collection Browser. Select System, choose Add-ons. Since ROM Collection Browser is already part of Cody's base repository, you don't need to install any zip files. Select Install from Repository. Select Program Add-ons. Scroll down to ROM Collection Browser and select Install. After a few moments, the add-on will be enabled. Now that the add-on has been enabled inside Kodi, let's set up a super easy shortcut on your home screen. Select System. Choose Appearance. Under Skin, select Settings. Under Add-on Shortcuts, scroll down and select the first open add-on under Home Page Programs submenu. Choose ROM Collection Browser. Now from your home screen you have a super easy shortcut. The first time you launch ROM Collection Browser it will ask you to set up the location for the emulator as well as the ROM games. Select Yes to choose the configuration file. Choose the option to scrape game info and artwork online to have the information automatically pulled down from the internet. I have the NES emulator, so in this example I'm going to choose NES. Now it's asking for the emulator program file so it can launch from within Kodi. You'll also see your two source locations that you set up earlier. Select NES emulator. Since I installed the NES emulator FCEUX, I'm going to choose the program file FCEUX.exe. The add-on has already set up all the emulator parameters, so you don't need to change these. Next, let's choose the path to the ROM location. Select your ROM folder that you set up earlier. In my example, I have three ROM files, and they all end with the file type ZIP. So in this window, I want to add in the wildcard asterisk.zip. If you have other file types, you want to make sure you add them here. Select Done, and then choose OK. I only have one ROM location, so I'm going to select No on this option. Now the add-on is going to attempt to download all the fan art as well as game details from the internet. Choose Import Games. It's actually pretty common for the import to time out. We'll relaunch this from inside the add-on. So select OK if you run into this window. So in my example, it downloaded Super Mario World details, but it skipped the other games that I have. Simply open up the context menu, select Import Games, and choose Import Games option. As you can see, details for my three games have been downloaded, including fan art and details for Spy Hunter, Super Mario Bros., and Super Mario World. You'll likely have a ton of ROMs to help with the navigation. Simply choose left on your remote. The easy to use filtering option that lets you choose between console, 
genre, year, publisher, as well as sorting from A to Z. To launch into the games, simply highlight it and select it. When you exit a game, it'll automatically go back to Kodi, so you can easily launch any other game from the add-on. Now you have a super easy way to install the ROM collection browser inside Kodi and play any of your console games on your big screen TV.